what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro now nah, i'm just messing with y'all man this is your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out bro before i get going on our video hit my like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the video and turn on your notifications so you can know when i drop this content on your head and don't forget i'm live monday wednesday and thursday night at 7 30 p.m central time and I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today, we got to talk about Devin Haney versus Lom Vasily Lomachenko. It's officially official. Press conference set for tomorrow, Thursday. And we got another great fight for boxing, y'all. Devin Haney putting his undisputed belts on the line champion of the lightweight division wbc wbo wba ibl you know what i mean and he going up against vasily lomachenko multiple division champion former pound for pound level fighter you know what i mean just a very good fight bro a very good fight a couple of things surrounding this fight though when y'all gonna give me my flowers man yeah yeah when y'all gonna give your boy knock out his flowers? I told y'all from jump, Devin Haney was rematching Camboso. I told y'all from jump, Devin Haney was fighting Vasily Lomachenko. I've been told y'all that. So this notion that Devin had all these options, this notion that Bob Abram saying the plans that he had for Devin Haney and what fights they had for him while he was under this top rank deal, all these things that you've been hearing on YouTube, about how he's only fighting Cambosos in a rematch because everybody else ducked him. Or he's only fighting Vasily Lomachenko in this fight because everybody else didn't want no smoke. Nah, bro. He was fighting Cambosos because George Cambosos had a rematch clause. He was fighting. Hold on, y'all. Okay, we good. He was fighting Vasily Lomachenko. Because that was the fight that he that he wanted. That was the fight that they went after. That was the fight that was on that three fight deal that he signed with Top Rank. Some people knew this, but yet some some you know fanatical Devin Haney fans that try to paint narratives to you guys were telling you things that were different. Oh yeah, give me a second. Sorry y'all, we trying to get where we need to go. They were telling you stuff that was different, bro. And I tried to tell y'all that it just is what it is, bro. When you sign these contracts, they matter. When 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 you sign to allow Bob Arum to dictate certain aspects of your career in terms of who you fight and the fights that he's going to present to you, those things matter. And this is proof of that. So hopefully now moving forward, everybody will understand that. Now, with that out the way, bro, with that out the way, the actual fight itself, it's a fight for legacy. It's a fight for um, to solidify yourself and build that resume, man. And it's a great, great fight for Devin Haney. It's a fight that puts him in the ring against the most accomplished fighter that he will have ever fought um, and probably going to be the toughest cha uh, challenge from a talent perspective. And when slash if Devin Haney comes out on the other side and shines in this moment, it's just going to make him an even um, bigger star in the sport of boxing than he already is. Um, and it's going to give him, in my opinion, um, probably the best resume um, still currently at 135 pounds. Not named Lomachenko because obviously Loma done fought Tiafimo Lopez. He done fought, uh, he'll have fought Devin Haney. Um, he'll have fought Guillermo Rigan Diaz. So Loma will still have fought the better names than anybody at 135 pounds. But Devin Haney will probably will be the one that's still undefeated with that resume. The only other person that will be on that level from 135 to 140, not named Lomachenko, you could throw Tiafimo in there because he fought and beat Lomachenko first. You got Richard Come on his resume, and Richard Come was closer to his prime. But I would still get a nod to Devin Haney because I think George Cambosos probably a better fighter than Richard Comey at the point in his career when Devin Haney fought him versus the point in 
his career when Tia Fimo fought him, and then what's happened to Richard Comey since um, losing to Tia Fimo Lopez. Just kind of the decline he's been on. Just got knocked out by Jose Ramirez, um, and then his draw with Jose Pedraza. That's not aging well because Pedraza looks shot. So you got to give Devin Haney his credit and give him his his props and give him the nod in terms of what beating Vasily Lomachenko will do for his resume, right? Um, the other aspect of this that I, that, I, that I wanted to talk about surrounding this fight is a lot of people are upset that Vasily Lomachenko is no longer on the pound-for-pound pound list going into this fight with Devin Haney. And I got to point out, right, if you go look at my pound for pound list, I never had Vasily Lomachenko top ten because I counted the the loss against Teofimo Lopez. I counted the loss against Salido. I counted how bad he looked at against Jermaine Ortiz. You know what I mean? I counted that. So he was never on my pound for pound list. But this is what what what, what I will point out. Because I see both sides of this. I see where people are coming from with, oh, now Vasily Lomachenko fighting Devin Haney. Now y'all take him off his y'all pound for pound list. Talking about the ESPN, um, you know, Ring Magazine, the, the pound for pound list that everybody look at in reference to this, these types of conversations. I see what I see what people are saying, right? Oh, you wait for, for Devin Haney to get ready to fight Loma. And now that he's fighting Lomachenko, now you don't want to put him on the pound for pound list anymore because if Devin Haney beat him you you're able to try to take credit away from him because that you Loma's not no longer a pound for pound fighter. Like I get the notion. I understand what people are doing and what they're saying. But here's the thing. You can't have everything, bro. Cause a lot of the same people that are saying this and having this sentiment we're critical of Lomachenko being on the pound for pound list in the first place, bro. So you don't want him on the list, right? You don't want you're you're basically guilty of the same shit that you you when you push this, you are guilty of the same shit that the people you criticize are guilty of. So you don't want Lomachenko on the pound for pound list. You feel like Lomachenko is overrated. He's overrated. He ain't shit. He lost to Salido. He didn't look good against Jermaine Ortiz. You feel like he lost to Jermaine Ortiz for real, right? All of this shit, been inactive, ain't look good, past his prime. But then when your guy fight him, when your guy fight him, now you want him on the pound for pound list. Now he is the Matrix. Now he now, now you want to give him his respect. It, it, it's stuff like that that we, we got to continue to point out, the double standard of that type of shit, man. And this is why I always tell y'all, bro, come over here for objective analysis, man. Come over here for the facts and for honest opinions. I get to say this shit that I'm saying because I told y'all, man, Lomachenko lost to Salido already, bro. Lomachenko ain't look good against Jermaine Ortiz. Hey, man, how could you have Lomachenko over this guy, that guy on the pound for pound list? So screw it, I'm making my own. He ain't on my pound for pound list. So when I say Devin Haney, should do what I believe he going to do to Lomachenko. When I say this ain't a 50-50 fight, it's because I've always thought that Devin Haney was way better than Loma. And now I'm not going to act like Loma is something that I never thought he was just to try to give Devin Haney some sort of props or some sort of um, accolade or, or, or put some extra sauce on him beating Lomachenko, just like I'm not doing for Ryan Garcia, bro, with this Tank Davis shit. The only... The only opponent that Devin or Tank could fight to get the type of credit that a lot of they, they fans want is each other, bro. I keep trying to tell y'all this, and I'm going to keep telling you this until you get it, man. It just is what it is, bro. It just is what it is. Lomachenko is not a pound-for-pound pound fighter. And to push for him to be on a pound-for-pound pound list simply because you want Devin to get more credit for beating him, bro, that's, that's whack. That's the same shit that, that, that people do when they was overpraising Lomachenko. So when they was overhyping him and shit, and people were like, nah, bro, he overhyped. He ain't all that. He lost to this person. 
he looked bad against that person. He lost to Tia Fimo. When they was overhyping him and still having him on a pound pound list coming off of losses and shit and bad performances, people were people like, nah, he need to get the hell out, off the pound pound list. This person need to be above him. That person need to be above him. Let's put this person above him. Cool, no issue. But now that he's not on the pound for pound list and there's people above him that deserve to be over him, now some want him back on the pound for pound list so that you can give Haney more credit for beating him, bro. Like beating a multiple division champion, former pound for pound level fighter, ain't enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Vasily Lomachenko is a very good fighter. Vasily Lomachenko will be the best win of Devin Haney's career, man. Vasily Lomachenko is a multiple division champion. He is the most pro. He is a two-time Olympic gold medalist, man. He will be the most decorated amateur boxer, professional boxer, just boxer in general that Devin Haney would ever have beaten when slash if Devin goes in here and watches this dude. Why is that not enough for some of y'all, bro? Why do we want to bump? Why why do some want to bump him up the pound for pound list too? Bump him up the pound for pound list so that you can add that extra sauce on the victory for Devin, bro. Beating Lomachenko as he is is a nut. It is a damn good win, man. It is a solidification win, solidifying win. I don't even know if solidification is a word, but if it ain't, I just made it up. Don't steal my shit. So that's all I got on the situation, man. I, I'm, I'm excited for the fight. It's going down May 20th. The undercard is now, yeah, it's all right. They got Oscar Valdez versus Adam Lopez, too, on the undercard. And then I, I, I'm more excited for that Raymond Murray, Tyler, Jeremiah Nakathila that they got on the undercard. Um, $59.99 pay-per-view ain't a bad price. You know what I mean? So um, I'm with it, bro. I'm, I'm excited for this fight. It's another great fight for the sport of boxing. It's a great fight for the career of Devin Haney and the career of Vasily Lomachenko. You know what I mean? Absolute wonderful fight. Glad that they got it got it popping. And I told y'all they would get it popping. I told y'all this was the fight that was coming, man. When Bob Arum talks about fighters that are signed to him, when he talks about top ranked business, listen to him, bro. Let that be, let that be a lesson to you, man. Listen to him when he talks about top ranked business. Quit trying to blame everybody else for shit that these fighters sign and shit, man. Go look at when the deal was first announced, man. Devin Haney signs two-fight deal with a rematch clause for George Cambosos and Vasily Lomachenko, the possible third fight on a top-ranked ESPN deal that he signed. This was reported way back in June, May, like May, the summer of last year. And it's all come to fruition, just like I told y'all it would, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Devin Haney, Vasily Lomachenko, May 20th. Going down, man. Undisputed lightweight titles on the line. Devin Haney trying to defend his titles for the second time, man. I'm excited for the fight. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video and turn on your notifications. And go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. For breakdowns and predictions, hit my email up, knockoutboxing 86 yahoocom And don't forget I'm live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.